lawn renovation project that we're going to be doing. I'll show you how we do our lawn renovations and everything that we use, materials, and how we do it in the process. First, what we're going to do is get some gas as well as get a little motivation. We gotta get the morning coffee. It looks like no coffee today. Uh, their machine broke down so they gave me a couple of these still kind of upset but it's all right I'll make it today I'll get one later somewhere else the coffee machine broke down really? yeah so you still all that time it's time to hit the lawn renovation So first, we're gonna go ahead and dethatch the lawn. And here we got our dethatcher. And this will go ahead and rake out all, all this dead thatch that we have in the lawn, right here. All right, let's fire it up. Now after dethatching the lawn, what you're gonna do is pick up all that thatch that's in the grass and you're gonna wanna pick that up and bag that with either a mower or rake it up. All right, once all that thatch is picked up out of the lawn, what we go ahead and do is we aerate the entire lawn. And we go ahead, this is the aerator we got, a Bluebird aerator. It's a 24 inch. And we go ahead, we go across the entire, we go across the entire lawn and it makes these little plugs inside the lawn. And that's gonna help the seed go in there. It's gonna help also that topsoil compost mix that we're gonna put on here fall inside there, make this soil nice and full of nutrients and make a nice, beautiful green lawn. Well, after trying to finish the lawn here, we got the front lawn done, but now we got problems. The chain broke. So now I gotta go to the dealer, get a new chain, put it on, come back, but we gotta leave it anyways and get some more topsoil because we just started laying some, some of the compost down, so. Always something going on, I tell you what. <laughs> now I got somebody calling me. Hello, this is Tim. Hello. Telemarketer. All right, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully we can get this fixed today, because we have this and the big other job today. We had a good eight or nine hours. Now it's looking like we've got another hour delay at least. All right. Oh yeah. 
All right, it's time to go get this fixed. Had to get me a little coffee after this dilemma. What a burden, only something's gotta happen, right, though? It's not a normal day unless something happens. That's the truth. You gotta expect the worst and hope for the best. Looks like we're here. Looks like we're here, and I gotta go give them the chain, and they're gonna replace it. Get that. Looks like we got that new chain on. We're ready to go. Alright, look at this stuff. This is the good stuff. It's a good compost soil mixture called Field and Turf. Filled with nutrients, roundup, bark, and mulch. And uh, has some topsoil in it. It's gonna look really nice for a top dressing for this lawn. Alright, so now what we're trying to do is unload all this compost into the wheelbarrows here and uh, make all these small piles that we see and then we already got done or on the other side of the lawn you can see we're raking it with the rake what it's also doing is it's filling in all the holes that we have here from the aeration and it's really going to help break and open up that soil and uh, give it everything that it needs and also help hold the moisture a lot more. This is the same exact compost that they use on a lot of the golf courses so we'll see how it looks in a couple weeks. After putting on the topsoil, we go ahead and we put on the starter fertilizer. And next, I'm going to be putting in this grass seed. And this is a 50 50 mix, it's a fescue mix, a sunshade mix that will do really well in this grass. Um, this grass is going to get mainly full sun, probably 80%. After all the seeding and fertilizing is done, we go ahead and go through the lawn one more time with the rake just to spread that seed around a little bit and get it snug inside of that topsoil and then we are finished. So look at that. Time to head home after a long day of nothing but troubles. I only got half of the amount of work I was supposed to do, and it's been, what, nine or 10 hours? It's supposed to be a four and a half hour job. It's terrible.